welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about the Packard again. Uh, you guys haven't seen a video on the Packard because I haven't really been able to work on it. Been busy up at RPM and goofing around here with some other projects trying to get the house in order. So I'm also having some issues acquiring parts. So for those new to the channel or for those of you who have forgotten, this is a 1953 Packard Cavalier. In 1953, Packard built about five models. There's a Caribbean, a Patrician, there was a Mayfair. They made two doors and four doors. And uh, most of them are pretty similar as far as body design, uh, how the fenders look, how the hood looks, how the grill looks in 53. So more specifically, what I'm looking for right now is sheet metal parts for this car. So I'm looking for rocker panels and floorboards. And in a second, I'll show you why I need floorboards. Um, but I've been talking to a couple of companies that do specifically Packard stuff and a couple of companies that do specifically sheet metal stuff. And I'm having trouble finding out if other model floorboards will fit this car because no one makes any for this car. And I don't have the equipment here in my shop or up at RPM to make floorboards. Um, I could probably wing it, but I'd rather buy something that's close and modify it to fit. So let's take a look inside the car real quick and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So inside the Packard, you can see we are missing some floor. And also, the rocker panel on this side is in pretty rough shape. Someone's tried to repair it before. Someone has actually put a partial floorboard on this side before. So this is why I need sheet metal. Right now, there's nothing for the seat to mount to. And kind of the same scenario in the back. So you can see the floorboard in the back of this car. It's there but there are some holes in it and because there are some holes in it I'm just going to go ahead and replace the entire floor in this car which I've never done I've never replaced a floorboard before so this will be new to me go over and take a look at the passenger side so you can see kind of the same thing over here on the passenger side we've got some holes got some rust now, the portion up here next to the firewall is in good shape, and the trans tunnel appears to be in good shape as well. The rocker panel on this side, not in good shape. The center of the floor on this side is in pretty good shape. But still, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to replace everything while I'm in here. Just for peace of mind, and I've never done it before, and I want to try it. So like I said, a bit of a problem acquiring parts. Uh, I've talked to... Packard specific guys, uh, Max Merritt parts and Cantor parts. Both those guys do mainly Packard things. And then I have talked to uh, Classic to Current, uh, Classic to Current Fabrication. And I've also talked to Hot Rod Sheet Metal Supply. And no one can really give me a straight answer on what fits this car and what doesn't. The guys at Cantor were the most helpful. They said that the front floorboards on any 53 are the same. What differs is the under seat and the rear floorboard, which I also want to replace. I don't have to, but I want to. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to order inner and outer rocker panels um, direct from the supplier in Michigan and front, left, and right floorboards. And I know that those will fit. I'm also going to order the under seat left and right and the rear left and right. If those don't fit, it's not the end of the world. If they're close, I'm going to make them fit. And I'll show you guys a little bit of sheet metal fabrication along the way. But I really can't start cutting on this car yet because I don't have the template for what I can actually replace without having to, you know, cut the whole floor out. And then if this patch panel isn't big enough, having to fill all the gaps. So uh, I'm going to order everything tomorrow. Hopefully I'll have it next week and I am going to start cutting the crap out of this thing. I'm doing this before I do the wiring. So the wiring, I'm going to do a complete custom harness, sort of. I'm going to order a painless kit, and then I'm going to modify it to work with this car, switch from 6 volt to 12 volt. So that'll be a couple video series. Uh, the other issue that I'm having is actually under the hood. So I put a new radiator in the car. Well, not new. This is a radiator out of one of the parts cars I have outside. It was in better shape than the one that came out of it. I was able to find a thermostat locally, but what I could not find is a thermostat housing. That thermostat housing was not in the best shape. So I took it out, I cleaned it up with a wire wheel, I tried to make it as smooth and as flat as possible, but I didn't have a gasket. So I used some really awesome silicone, sealed it, let it sit up, filled it with water, no leaks. 
as soon as I fired the car up, it started spraying water everywhere. So I'm probably going to have to make a water neck for this because I cannot find one, um, which is going to be kind of interesting because the thermostat actually fits inside the water neck. So this is what the thermostat looks like. Looks like any regular like small block thermostat, but the problem is it's completely encased in the thermostat housing. So it doesn't actually like sit in the cylinder head and then the thermostat housing covered up. So if I can't get this one to work, I'm going to have to make one and make sure that it seals because I haven't been able to let this car run for very long and I want to, I want to get it up to temperature. I want to put a temperature gauge on it to make sure that it doesn't overheat. I want to make this car drivable uh, to some extent. Right now I can back it in and out of the garage, but I can't let it running for a long period of time because there is no water in the engine. So I took a step in the right direction by putting the radiator in it. I put new radiator hoses on it, but the thermostat housing leaked so bad it, I had to drain all the water back out of it. So that's on the list to do. Ordering floor pans soon. But for anyone else out there that's doing a old car restoration or an old car rat rod, um, Google has helped me to a point, but I've been making a lot of phone calls trying to find parts. I'm lucky that there are still old hot rodders out there and people that are in the Packard scene that are able to help me out. There hasn't been anything that I'm too concerned with that I can't find yet. If there is an issue with this motor, I know that's going to be a major issue. Transmission, same way. But I've been able to either fabricate or find everything I've needed up to a point. You know, I've rebuilt the carburetor, rebuilt the fuel pump. Um, fuel tank I can get, so all that stuff's good. I was able to find brake lines for it, wheel cylinders. So the car has brakes, the car runs, the car moves. Next, I'm going to do the whole floor so that I have a solid chassis to work with when it's time to wire it. I won't have to pull everything back apart to wire it. And, you know, if I wire it before I do the sheet metal, then I have to pull the harness back out to do the sheet metal. So sheet metal's next. All that stuff's being ordered soon. So uh, stay tuned for more Packard updates. Hopefully I get everything early next week and I can start cutting this thing up during the week next week. Uh, the weather's getting nice. So, of course, race season is starting. I'm going to the track tomorrow. Uh, going to be very busy this weekend, so I'm going to spend as much time on this as I can. Everything else is kind of holding in there. The Tahoe's good. The Buick's good. So we're going to goof with this car for a little while. I'd like to drive this thing by the end of the year, like all bagged, all wheels on it, interior done and everything. So I have a lot of work to do. Sheet metal is a step in the right direction. Then we're going to wire it. So that's going to do it for this video. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on this car. And uh, don't forget, guys, the new website is up for High PSI TV merchandise. We have hats, koozies, t-shirts, sweatshirts. Everything's on there, and there's always a link in the description below. Comment on this video, too. Uh, if you guys know a Packard parts supplier, aside from Max Merritt and Cantor, let me know. Um, I'm always going to be looking for parts for this thing. So uh, if you guys don't yet, be sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll put a little thing up here so you can see my Instagram name. And uh, I'll have another video for you guys. I'm going to do some filming this weekend, so look for a video at the beginning of next week. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.